Alright folks, here's a quick video demonstration of Android dual booting on a iPod Touch, first generation. So as you can see, here's the Apple home screen. I'm going to reboot into open iBoot. So open iBoot console choose between uh, iPhone OS, the console, and Android. Go ahead and select that. And we wait. I am using Alex's kernel for iPod Touch 0.2. Um, it's much quicker than the kernel that was supplied with this particular uh, distribution. It has working touch drivers and Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is pretty sketchy at best, but I'm sure there's other kernels and workarounds for it. But uh, this particular kernel makes it boot quite a bit faster, although it's still pretty slow. There's the Android screen. Still a pretty lengthy boot. Coming up on a minute now, I think. Oh, just another note. It doesn't have to be plugged into doesn't have to be plugged into a charger to boot. I just happen to have it in because battery runs out pretty darn quickly with Android because there's no power management yet. Booting might want to fast forward or something. <laughs> there we go. Let me wipe off the screen a little bit. Boot, damn you. There we go. It takes about as long as a netbook boot booting Vista. So, here is an iPod Touch first generation running Sense UI as soon as the Sense UI widget. There we go. iPod Touch running Sense UI. There's a, a lag with the multi, with the uh, touch screen. I'm not sure if that's due to poor drivers or just hardware, but I'm pretty sure it's poor drivers. Um, let's see if we can get Wi-Fi working on the first go. It's pretty sketchy. It works when it feels like it. There we go. See if you can get a uh, IP address. Come on, behave for me.
Well, there we go. It's scanned. Come on, baby. It's obtaining IP address, that's a good sign. Come on. Oh, there we go, connected. Let's make sure it's not lying to us. Oh, there we go. Google. Um, not sure if accelerometer is enabled in this kernel. Doesn't appear to be. Uh, we do have a backlight control. Oh yeah, there it is. So I can control the brightness. As you can see, the lag it's pretty ridiculous, as I said before. Let's see if orientation works now. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know how Sense UI works. Um, the music app, maybe? Okay, so maybe orientation does not work, but either way, very, 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 very beginning stages of this, uh, but it's still pretty cool to see the unholy combination of Sense UI and an iPod Touch running hand in hand, or at least fist in fist, but, uh, yep, so there you have it, still no power management or, uh, and severe lack of buttons for this, so all I really have is a menu button and a back button. Nothing, no home button, which would be really helpful, and no sleep button. And, uh, there you have it.